my name is Flora and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode I would like to share with you my five tips to get back on track with running. Because there can be many reasons why you have stopped running for a while. For example, because of an injury, sickness, a holiday, or maybe you had a little motivation dip. Finding the motivation and getting back on track can be difficult. It can feel like an obstacle you have to overcome. But sometimes you need to push through that first wall. And I know exactly how that feels. Because after my run through Serbia that I unfortunately didn't complete, I felt myself a bit lost and I had a little motivation dip. If you are interested and want to learn more about uh, my running trip through Serbia, then I will leave the link in the description down below and you can also watch it up here. But that said, I am back and I am in full training for some really challenging, crazy, amazing running goals in 2023. And that's why I want to share with you my five tips on how to get back into running again. And watch till the end because I have a bonus tip. Okay, are you ready? Then we go. one let it go let go of all the training schedules goals and plans just get back into running and feel connected again think about why you initially started running i started my running journey many years ago but for a good reason because when i run i feel connected with myself i feel myself strong powerful confident I like to challenge myself, I like to push boundaries, stretch limits and just to see how far I can go with my body but also emotionally and mentally. I don't run because I want to lose weight or to reshape my body. I run to feel free, to fulfill my dreams, to travel the world and run in beautiful places and do crazy challenges. So ask yourself, why do you run? Tip 2. Run consistently. Consistency is key. If you want to reach a running goal, you need discipline. Because you can't have strong motivation all the time. Motivation is like a tide. It comes and it moves. Instead, you need discipline. Building discipline takes time. And it's pretty hard work, I can tell you. And before you become disciplined, you have to focus on consistency. You have to adjust your body and your mind to running on a regular basis. In the beginning, it doesn't really matter how often you go out for a run. If that is two times, three times, four times a week. The most important steps are out of the front door. Just get yourself out of the front door. Make it a habit and a priority. We all have busy schedules, I know. But if you really want it, you make time for it. Tip 3. Be really patient with yourself. It's an illusion to expect and to see progress every single week or even after every single run. And I see this a lot of time happening on social media, for example on Instagram and on Strava, that people expect to see progress and improvement after every single run. And if they don't see it, then they, the training failed, they are undertrained, they are overtrained, they add more strength training to their schedule, cross training, but building muscles and endurance, that takes time. And I'm not talking about weeks, I'm talking about months and months and even years. So please be patient with yourself and give yourself this time to 
build your body in a healthy way. Tip four, do the body scan. If you are getting back into running, ooh, look at this. Do the body scan. If you are getting back into running, especially after an injury, it is really important to feel connected with your body again. And therefore you can do a body scan. And with a body scan you pay attention to all your body parts and you're asking yourself how are they feeling and do I need to change or do something to improve it if they are not feeling right. Um, if I do a body scan, I always start with my feet and I work my way up. Questions I ask myself with a body scan are Are my shoes laced up correctly? Do I feel friction on the bottom of my feet? Do my toes have enough uh, space? Are my ankles stable when I put my foot down? Um, do I feel tension in my calves and so yes, if yes, then do I need to do something about it? Can I do something about it? For example, to walk for a bit or to stretch them. Um, and so I go with my attention through all my body parts and I end always with my mind. But I will make another video about a body scan and how you can do that. So make sure you subscribe uh, and then I will uh, come back later on with this topic because it is a bit noisy here with this road. Tip 5. Have fun. It sounds like an open door but it is so important to have fun. Because if every run or training feels like a chore, ask yourself, why are you running? So add fun to your runs. Run with friends, run with your family, run with your kids, run with music in, a beautiful podcast, an audio book, run in beautiful places, whatever makes you happy. But add some fun to it and make sure that Running is something you look forward to. For me, it's me time. So I always look forward to running. Then I'm thinking, yes, I can listen to that new podcast, that new audio book, and then I go. So have fun. bonus tip we are in Budapest because physical training is just one thing one part of the game but how you feel mentally and emotionally is even more important you don't only run with your body but also with your mind and it's important that you feel just good in your own skin that you feel confident um, and that you take care of yourself and you can take care of yourself by doing something special for example to run in beautiful places and that's the reason why I am back here in Budapest because when I am here I feel confident I feel at home and the good thing about running in beautiful places is that it can it's really an energy booster and it can give you this kick of motivation maybe inspiration for new dreams and running goals uh, so just grab your bike a car public transport whatever and just set off to a beautiful place and it can be a city a forest a lake the ocean whatever is beautiful to you just go there and uh, give this uh, nice experience to yourself. Thank you for watching. 
things. Uh, I hope my tips uh, help you get back into running again. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. And uh, I will see you in the next video uh, from a different country. I can already tell you that. And go outside and have fun. And remember the hardest step is to get out of the front door. And from there everything is going to be easier. Okay, have fun. Run with your heart. Uh, I see you next time. See ya!